Hi, I just want to give you a quick overview of India so that these ideas have context. It's the second most populated country on the earth. India is an incredibly diverse country with a number of cultures and distinct languages. Like the US, we have national level laws and state level laws. In this video, I will be sharing a few of the important national level laws. In 1968, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi announced the first national policy on education. India has 29 states and 22 official languages and also hundreds of other languages. The policy focused on learning regional languages, outlining the three language formula to be implemented in secondary education. The instruction of the English language, the official language of the state where the school was based, and Hindi, the national language. This helped the people in different regions to learn their language along with English and Hindi. In North India, there are many states where the people speak Hindi, the national language. But in Southern India, all the states have different regional languages. So, some of the state government opposed the three language formula, especially Tamil Nadu. Then eventually, all the states started going with the policy. But some schools just ignored that part of the law. In 1985, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi introduced a new national policy on education. The new policy called for special emphasis on removal of disparities and to equalize educational opportunities, especially for Indian women, scheduled tribes and scheduled caste. In India, there was a strong caste system existed. To achieve such a social integration, the policy called for expanding scholarships, adult education, recruiting more teachers from the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, incentives for poor families to send their children to school regularly, development of new institution and providing housing and service. This made a big impact on the students belong to that particular caste. In 2019, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh launched Sakshar Bharat. This policy is to create a literate society through a variety of teaching and learning programs for non-literate and literate of 15 years and above this helped most of the students and adults in the country to develop basic skills in writing and reading this hasn't worked fully because of poverty in the country many areas have significant problem with child labor and modern day slavery it's great to have the goal but there are other issues that the government has to solve before the law can be fully implemented these are the three important policies passed by the Indian government that influence our public education system. In recent years, there has been an even bigger push for integrating technology in school by state and central government of India. So hopefully, progress will continue in this area. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about India and our educational law and policies.